This tiny 1.5B model beats OpenAI's O1. Big news just dropped in the AI world. A 1.5 billion parameter model just smoked OpenAI's O1 preview at math. And get this, it was trained on a $42 budget. Let's break down how they did it and test if it's really that good. So this paper from researchers in Vietnam and Singapore dropped like an hour ago. Their tiny model called OpenRS crushed ChatGPT's O1 preview on multiple math benchmarks like AEME and AMC. Mind blowing, right? Especially because O1 is literally designed to scale reasoning at test time. But here's the kicker. They did it with reinforcement learning on a shoestring budget. Four GPUs. 24 hours and under 50 US dollars. No trillion dollar data centers. Let's break down how they did it with two things. The first one is a super curated data set. They mix 7k high quality math problems. No fluff, just the hardest and the easiest problems to balance training. The second one is a good GRPO algorithm. Instead of fancy reward modeling, they used this thing called group relative policy optimization. Basically, the model competes against itself in mini groups to level up its own answers. No PhD required, just smart feedback loops. We can see that in the AEME 2024 benchmark, the small model with only 1.5 billion parameters beats multiple models like DeepScale R and even OpenAI's O1 preview by over 2%. And all of this at nearly zero cost. If we take a look at this overall comparison, we can see the OpenRS model series beating multiple models of various sizes at 4 out of 5 benchmarks. But keep in mind that even the cheapest of these models did cost 23 times more to train. Okay, let's try it locally and see if it's really that good. I prepared 7 random math problems of different difficulty. Hey, before we start the testing, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Game begin. Let's test the first problem. If John has 15 apples and gives 7 to his friend, how many apples does he have left? And the model answered correctly, 8 apples. So let's make this a pass. Next question. A book contains 24 chocolates. If these chocolates are shared equally among 6 children, how many chocolates does each child receive? And the model answered correctly, 4 chocolates. Another pass. So now let's make it a little bit harder for the model. I will give it this quadratic equation to solve. And the answer is correct again. Another pass. Okay, next one. A cylindrical water tank with a radius of 3 meters and height of 8 meters is being filled with water at a rate of 2 cubic meters per minute. How long will it take to fill the tank to 25% of its capacity? And the model answered correctly, 27 pi. Another pass. Okay, the last three questions we have are pretty complicated. As we can see, it took a really long time. And sadly, the answer was wrong. So this will be a fail. For the second one, it took also a long time. And still, the answer was wrong again. So another fail. And for the last one, the answer was also sadly wrong. But for a 1.5 billion parameters model, it's pretty good, but it doesn't beat 01, at least from my testing. You could make an argument that I didn't use the original model, but a QA GGFU version. So I created this Python script and rebuilt some of their techniques they showed in their GitHub. But still the model wasn't able to answer these three questions. If you want to try the model yourself, you can use the GGUF my repo from Hugging Face, link in the description. Okay, so we can see the results were pretty good. It's okay at handling easier math problems, but somehow with the harder ones it struggled. So maybe the model is a bit too small, but I was still pretty impressed. We also need to keep in mind that it's not a good practice to compare single task models with generalist models. But still, these news are amazing. This could mean everyone could fine tune their own small model for a specific use case which will perform better than the top closed models and it's so small it can even run on a phone. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to get all the newest AI news first. And with that I say tschüssi.